Peter Mokori in Chabera. I'm an engineer by profession and at Kenchik Limited, I'm the assistant actually manager. We are based in Atriba Mbolongo. Uh, I think as a company we are interested in um, empowering the youth, especially uh, graduates or somebody who has not yet graduated. So we are looking at at least imparting knowledge uh, for students so that they can be able to relate what they have learned in class and uh, what is there uh, in the corporate world. I would say this was one of um, a very impactful decision uh, because we took in somebody who, who had knowledge on energy efficiency, energy usage and uh, how we can be able to create sustainability through uh, good use of energy. So we were able to get somebody who trained us on how we are going to be efficient and uh, from that we are able to develop even an energy committee that was to steer or rather look at our consumption in all areas and even our consumption for water. So it was a good decision and it has impacted us positively. I would say, like I said earlier, there, there was a big impact and uh, most of the areas that we're looking at in terms of impact were actually behavioral. Uh, we did have a meeting with all the staff where we educated them or created awareness uh, with regards to our behaviors uh, regarding utility consumption. One area we talked about is uh, water usage. You realize at times that uh, staff walk around and leave taps unattended to. Uh, they see leakages but they don't report them. Uh, they, op they access air-conditioned rooms uh, but leave the doors open. Uh, they, use, they use compressed air uh, for unnecessary activities. All those things, they are behavioral, uh, they are behavioral. That uh, if no actions are taken, they'll, uh, they'll, they'll contribute to an increased energy consumption. So those are things that we focused on, and I'm glad that uh, through Cheryl, we were able to create awareness, and people were able to understand how those uh, actions that they take contribute to energy consumption. The period when Cheryl joined from a Youth and Energy Empowerment Program, uh, we had already carried out an energy audit for the facility and we had identified areas that we need to address so that we can increase our energy efficiency. So uh, Cheryl came in uh, just to um, also work along the areas that were identified. I'm glad to say out of the many areas that were identified, one of them being that we need to install a grid tied solar power, uh, power plant. It's something that we even sized together and she was even part of the presentation for the suppliers that we're looking for. So it's something that is running and uh, by the end of this year, the, the plant is going to be installed. The other thing that we are looking at, uh, recommended by the energy auditor, was uh, installation of LED lights that will uh, tremendously also reduce our consumption. We are also looking at uh, installation of VFDs, that is variable uh, frequency drives uh, for our motors, that is for our pumps. That also it's a, an area that addresses uh, our consumption because you're able to reduce the frequency of the motors or rather the speed of the motors and in return you reduce the energy consumption. So that is, those are some of the areas that we were looking at. It's only that Sherry came in after the audit was done but I'm sure she could have identified the same areas and we could have taken action. As a company we have a focus on efficiency because from efficiency we can be able to realize good margins. Uh, so in terms of numbers uh, I, I think this period has been very uh, unpredictable. Uh, rise of energy prices, that is uh, fuel. It's part of what we use here uh, to run our boilers and to run our generators. And uh, remember the power, the, the cost of power has gone up. So we've not been able to really see uh, substantial savings, but it's something that we're keen on monitoring. We started uh, some processes uh, of ensuring that we monitor power closely to see if we'll identify any savings between the period that we started the energy conservative measures uh, in 
limitation up to now. That is a very good question. Uh, I'm looking at it as a, a fresh graduate or somebody who's still in campus and wants to gain experience. Uh, as a young manager, I'll say that is a very good opportunity for graduates and people are looking for internship so that they can be empowered and then for companies you're looking at people are going to come into your operations and identify areas or uh, loopholes or maybe gaps in terms of energy that can be of great help to reduce not only your, your consumption but your behavioral trends in terms of how you consume energy.